hey guys those exams that we have coming up that i know you don't really want to think about they feel like a really really long way away in may and in june when it's hot and when it's sunny when hay fevers are attacking us and all you can think about is the summer it feels like it's ages away but it's not i'm really sorry but those exams are going to be here sooner than you realize so I'm afraid if we want to have um, a good exam period, if we want to be too stressed for exam period, then we need to start revising now. Because I know you probably haven't finished the courses yet, but we did a load of stuff in year 10, we did a load of stuff maybe even in year 9, and that was quite a long time ago, so we need to start revising it now. And the best way you can spend your time at the moment is planning how you're going to do your revision. So I want you to take a weekend and kind of like not do a revision, but plan how you're going to do your revision. So say I'm going to do this bit on this day, I'm going to do this bit on this day, I'm going to do this bit on this day. Now there are certain things you have to get into your revision. For example, for science, the required practicals are a massive 15% of your exam. And the great thing about this is you know exactly what the practicals are. You've done them in class, I've made them videos for you, and I've written you loads and loads of questions in the workbook. Four workbooks, a big one for combined science, and then three individual ones for the separate sciences. A really, really great, easy, simple thing for you to do would be to start at the beginning of the book and work through all of the practicals, because we know that is going to be a massive chunk of your exam. We know that maths is going to be a massive chunk of the exams as well, 10% for biology, 20% chemistry, and a massive 30% for physics. So you need to make sure that your maths in science, you've got all those kind of like, those tricksy things, the things that you wouldn't necessarily expect the examiners to ask, but well, we know they do because they did last year. And um, make sure you learn all your equations and your units for physics and maths as well. Make sure you learn of your ions and kind of like, you need to know your maths equations for science as well, for things like um, volume, surface area, ratios. All of these are sneaky little things that the examiners could put into questions. So I know the exams feel like ages and ages away, and I know sometimes motivation to get started because they feel like a long way away can be really, really hard. But if you start at the beginning, break it down into small chunks, I'm gonna do this practical this day, the next week I'm gonna do a chemistry practical, the next week I'm gonna do a physics practical. Breaking down your revision into small, achievable chunks like this really really will help you get started really really will kick start the the motivation you can tick off and say yes i've done that i've done that chunk of my revision because i promise you the sooner you get started the better it will be at the end ouch this is why in some videos i have unexplained scratches <laughs>